Yo, what is going on, people? Good morning. Um, it's your boy Buck. Back here today. Just gonna give a quick update on what I have going on with the vet. The vet is currently in storage, but I will be taking it out I don't know, probably the next month or so because I got to get some parts installed to do uh, some spring prep to get ready for the ring, get ready for a bunch of trips I'm gonna take with it, whole bunch of stuff. So let's start here. Okay. So as you guys can see, got some new tires for her. These tires, uh, these are the Federal 595 RS Pros. These are a 200 uh, tread wear tire. Um, these are 275s, uh, 3518s. I'm running a square setup, so I'm running those all the way around on my uh, vet. But <clears throat> these tires are made well, the way these tires are made, they are a bit larger than 275. So they fall somewhere between 285 and 295. So I'm super excited to try these out. Um, I've read a lot of good reviews up on these. I will be doing a review on these tires. So stay tuned for that. And this box here, something I'm <clears throat> super duper excited about. So these are my track spec. Hood vents right here, as you can see. Um, the reason why I got these, a uh, couple purposes. One, uh, relieving uh, that trapped air underneath the hood, which will create downforce on the front end to balance my rear uh, spoiler, which is a good thing. Number two, uh, heat dissipation. So the under hood uh, temperatures will be cooler, which will result in cooler uh, oil temps and everything should just be cool better underneath the hood. Um, and then the third reason is no more hood lift. So if you have a C5, you've been over 100 miles per hour, and then like you most likely would have seen your hood going like this as you go, and you can see the trap air trying to get out and causing the hood to flex. So this should cure that problem. Super duper stoked on this. Um, I'm actually not gonna install these myself because I don't wanna mess it up. Uh, it's a big job. I only have one hood. So I'm gonna take it to the professionals to get it installed. I already got a price quote, like 200. Moving on, got some diff fluid here. I always go with the red line. Uh, with the, and you don't have to add the Limited slip additive to this. It's already inside of it, which is super dope. I'm going with a 7590. Eventually, I'm gonna move up to a 7140 just because I don't have a diff cooler yet. So that should add an extra layer of protection. <clears throat> uh, gonna bleed the brakes uh, and the clutch. And I'm gonna use AT Type 200 uh, brake fluid. This stuff is pretty good fluid, got a high boiling point. Um, and also, it's very affordable for oil. I'm running the diesel truck stuff, the Rotella T6. This stuff has become super popular in the uh, years, but I'm running a 5W40. Um, I switched from a 5W30 because I got a lot of blow by with that. So with this 40 weight, uh, better protection for the engine and also it won't consume this oil as quickly. Let's see. Here. Uh oh. And I also got my mobile one uh, oil filters. I actually bought these on eBay. Um, I got a lot of like 20 for cheap. So I'll be running these for a good little while. <clears throat> so, so moving on here, I have the Tick Performance um, Master Cylinder. So C5s have an issue where when you're doing long durations of pulls, the pedal gets stuck to the floor. This is supposed to correct that issue. Um, this is probably the most time consuming install I will have to do of all the parts that I brought. So that should be cool. Um, just add reliability to it, which is always welcome. We all want our uh, fun track, whatever cars be reliable. So hopefully this will correct that issue because I am super over it. Right here, I have some some toe points I'm gonna to install on the chassis. Um, I believe this is the front 
and this is the rear so those will stick out of the bumper just a tad bit like you'll be able to see the red but it'll be pretty subtle uh i'll make sure to do an install video on those <clears throat> and for anybody that's interested in these i got these off of ebay uh somebody makes them custom and they sell them there which they're really thick they still like they weigh a good amount but it's always good to have a toe point you know you never know you might break down or something like that or a god forbid crash so yeah got that so here in this box got some good stuff so these are the improved racing c5 oil pan baffles so what happens is these trap doors go in your oil pan and the reason why you want to use these is because when you're uh taking like high g corners for a long time it can make all the oil in the oil pan go to one section um which can cause your engine to oil starve and you can lose oil pressure and spin a bearing or do whatever not good stuff so what these will do is you know in situations like that these trap doors will catch the oil and keep it where it's supposed to be adding an extra layer of protection i forget how much these were but very well worth it you know you can see the trap door right there um these don't require any modification to your oil pan these just clip on there you can see they're beautiful machine pieces got that little shine to them so super stoked on these i'll be doing this install when i do my oil change and all my other fluids <clears throat> and i got a new oil pan gasket just so when i do this make sure i don't have any leaks back there let's close that up oh and if y'all need any of these parts right here just hit me up on instagram i'll cut you a super good deal this is just old parts i don't need off my car anymore um last but not least of my modifications coming this season i have pack performance i think they're the 12 18 valve springs Currently, I've already replaced my valve springs with the GM Blue valve springs because the LS6 OEM valve springs, uh, people had issues with them breaking and dropping valves and eating motors, so I didn't want to take that chance. So I got these pack performance ones to upgrade, even from the GM Blue ones. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you're going to be beating on your car, uh, if you're going to be seeing high RPMs, you do want to change your valve springs fairly often. Um, like some people change them every season. I don't think I beat on my car that hard. So I think every two seasons will be good for me. So I'm running with these. I was going to go for a dual valve spring, but from everyone I talked to with my application, these would just be a better valve spring and be less stressful on the valve train for what I do. So yeah, I decided to go with those. Since I'm in there anyway, I'm going to go ahead and replace the valve seals make sure we aren't leaking past the valves and none of that good stuff which my car is only 50,000 miles so i don't think i've had any issues with that at all but still while you're in there why not these are a comp cams kit what else do we have oh and we have machine valve locks so since i'm already changing the valve springs i decided to go with machine valve locks also these are stronger than the oem stamped valve locks that can break under um, extreme lows and high RPM situations. So this is just an extra uh, layer of reliability for the car. But yep, that's all I got right now. Um, I'm gonna get all that stuff installed. Once I get, oh, with the, uh, hope my mic was hooked up. But yeah, but hopefully um, I'll be able to get all that stuff done in a fairly, in a span maybe like, two three weeks and then the car will be 100 percent still got to pull out of storage hopefully no ghost codes or nothing like that popped up because like c5s man i, I don't know if y'all know but they are like famous for electrical issues when they've been sitting but i had it in a heated temperature controlled storage so hopefully that's not an issue hopefully i just hop in she drives how she's supposed to drive nothing more to it thanks for checking out the video if you have any questions about 
any of the stuff that I have here, feel free to comment on the videos. Feel free to hit me up on Instagram, whatever. You know, happy to help, but take it easy. I'm out.